Hi, everybody. Welcome to yoga. We're going to jump right into class today, starting in a comfortable seat. Finding a nice tall spine. Letting the shoulders gently roll up and back out of the ears. Resting the hands on the legs, close the eyes. Starting to take some big breaths. Letting everything else quiet around us and just focus on your inhales and your exhales. Keep your eyes gently closed and just start to bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. And circling chin down towards the chest. Bringing your left ear to the left shoulder. And again, circle the chin down to the chest, over to the right shoulder. And once more, chin to chest, over to the left side. And this time, take it up and around, so lifting our head towards the ceiling as we roll over to the right. And again, lifting head to the ceiling, chin over to the left. Again, over to the right. Last time, take it over to the left. Then move this into a side bend. Continue to lean over into that left hand. Take the right arm over. And gently start to open the chest up towards the ceiling, finding an easy twist. And you're twisting down towards the floor, kind of curving over the leg. Reach up and open. And curving to the leg. One more time, lifting up and open. Take a curve towards the legs and kind of reach out on that top left corner. Walk the hands to the center as we sit all the way up. Just come over to your right side, finding the side bend. Press and open towards the ceiling. And then curve towards the legs, holding down. Lift and open. Turn one to the legs. One more time. Lift and open. Curve to the legs. Reach the hands out onto that right corner. Walk the hands into the center. Start to shift up into our tabletop, finding hands and knees, taking a few rounds. Wow. And we'll return back to our tabletop. From here, sending our left toes back, reach the right hand forward. Holding the left leg as we exhale, elbow and knee drawing in. Inhale, reach straight up. Exhale, elbow and knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow and knee. Last time, inhale, reach. Elbow and knee. Inhale, reach. Bring the hand down, tuck the bottom toes, kind of press up into a bent three leg down dog. Take some movement through that left leg. And releasing that left foot back to our mats. 
Gently easing back down to our tabletop. We're going to switch out. Right toes back, left hand forward. Floating the leg as we exhale, elbow and knee. Inhale, reach. Elbow, knee. Inhale, reach. Elbow, knee. One more. Inhale, reach. Elbow, knee. And inhale, reach. Hand down, tuck the bottom toes. Press up, three leg down dog. Taking whatever movement in that right leg. And releasing that foot to the floor, taking down dog. A little bit of movement and shifting here. And lifting our heels, roll forward towards high plank. Glide the hips to heels, stretch back long, down dog. Heels up, roll forward. Glide hips to heels, stretch back long. One more, heels up, roll forward. Glide hips to heels and down dog. Bringing the feet up nice and wide to a brag dog. Couple more breaths. And releasing those hands down, start to bring the feet closer, chin to chest. Be soft, and we'll roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Once the top of our head lifts up, take the folders up and back. Rolling down, press straight down through the feet and inhale, just gently reach the arms up and out. Take a side bend to our right. Inhale, stretch back up to the left. Inhale, reach back up, fold forward. Halfway lift, fingertips light, top of the head reject. And release and step back to high plank. Find that long line, head to heels. Hold here. Right hand underneath us. We're gonna spin open, finding a side plank for a moment, reaching high. Return back to your high plank. Switch, left hand down, opening the right arm. Return to high plank, take a breath in. And exhale, chaturanga, knees or toes, cobra or up dog. Release back to down dog, full breath. Next inhale, come all the way up, forward fold. Hands to the legs, halfway lift. And fold, reach the arms out and up, stand tall, lift up. Take that side bend to the right. Inhale, tall. To the left. Inhale, tall, forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back, finding our high planks. Hold here. Sending our left hand to the ceiling, finding side plank. Open up. Come back, high plank, and switch. Right arm up. High plank, inhale, exhale, chaturangas. We return back to down dog, taking a breath. And we're gonna inhale, float those right toes high. Draw that knee through, low lunge. Finding that long line, tapping our left knee down, crescent moon, float up. Bring the hands behind us, resting in our low back or reach the knuckles down towards that, that back knee. Start to lean back a little bit, finding a back bend nice and easy. We'll release, lifting our back knee up, turning into a wide forward fold. 
You're opening that right hand towards the ceiling. Find a twist. Gently release, switch out, opening the left hand, take a twist. Release. Arms out to a wingspan, flat back them up halfway, long spine. Soften the knees. Come all the way up to stand, warrior two, right knees point forward, kick those toes out. Just like our side plank, as we extend side angle, keep reaching both arms away. Lift up, reverse warrior, bend into that right knee. Come back up, we're finding star, heels and toes out, reach up. We're gonna exhale and horse, you can just suit those hands down towards the knees. Inhale, star, lift back up. Exhale, bend the knees, open over the toes. Two more, inhale, star. Exhale, horse, last time, inhale, star. Exhale, horse, and inhale, star. Warrior two to our left leg, so turn our left toes up, kick your right heel up. Find the extending side angle. Lift up, reversing warrior. Stand tall, turn both feet back to that side, taking wide forward folds. Walk the hands and feet towards that right foot. Step back, finding high plank. Chaturanga, knees or toes, cobra up dog. Releasing back to down dog, finding a breath. We'll inhale our left toes, sweep up. Draw that knee through, low lunge. Right knee taps down, fingertips float up. And anchoring hands to low back. Or reach the knuckles towards that back knee. Lean back slightly, adding a back bend. Release, lift that back knee up, turn to our wide forward fold. Left fingertips to the ceiling, finding our twist. Release, switch out, opening the right arm. Release. Arms out to a wingspan, flat back, come up halfway. Keep coming all the way up, warrior two, left knees and toes forward. Extending side angle. Lift up, reverse warrior. Come back. Open up to star, heels and toes out. Wall, soften the knees, seat down. Inhale, star, reach up. Exhale, horse, just two more. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse, last time. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Now turn to our right foot, warrior two. Extend side angle. Lift up, reversing warrior. Come back, both feet to that side, wide forward fold. Hands and feet turn to our left foot. Step back, finding high planks. Flow a chaturanga. Return back to down dog, taking a breath. Adding on, so we're inhaling our right leg high. Now listen, cross to our left arm like a big side plank. Take the foot out wide. Spin down, open that left hand. Legs are straight and separated. Draw that right knee back in, stretch the right toes high. Right knee comes through, low lunge. Tap that knee down, finding press the moon, float up. Bringing hands behind. From here, tuck those back toes. Just gonna start to press up into our crescent lunge. Keep the hips low. Then add a little bit of our back bend. Hips continue to come forward. 
Release the arms, finding high press and lunge. Prayer twist to the right. Elbow can come to our knee. Press through that back heel. Spin our back heel down, lift the arms up and open warrior two. This time straightening out our right leg, triangles out and down. Lifting left side, reverse triangle. Coming up to star, bend the knees, taking horse. Fingertips can either stay on the knees or reach towards the floor. Then we start to shift a little bit more towards one leg and the other, moving towards side lunges. Or you can stay up on both feet, shifting there, side to side. Take a couple more breaths. And wherever we are, we're moving into our wide forward fold. Turn the toes to that side, release the head and the chest. From here, like a wide down dog, walk the hands out in front, a little bit wider than the shoulders, and maybe even be just up on your fingertips. You're bringing our chest back through the arms. And you might want to bend into the knee. Walking our hands back in, we're going to find that halfway lift, arms out to a wingspan. Come all the way up to stand, turn our left toes out, finding our warrior two. Stretching left side, triangles. Right side brings us up, reverse triangle. Return back to wide, forward fold. Walk the hands and feet to that right foot. Step up this time to a forward fold, feet together. Now crouch and curl, nose to knee. From here, we're gonna send those heels back down. Bending both knees as we come up to chair, hips are low. Bringing our left knee with us, we're gonna see these are to balance, finding one leg. Bring the hands behind us. From here, left toes and heels, we're gonna step down behind us. And our heel touches down, so warrior one. Hips are forward, feet are separated out to the sides of our mat. Bending into that front knee, back heel down. Finding our back bend first. And then we're going to come forward, humble warrior. Option to float those hands towards the ceiling, finding a deeper shoulder stretch. Nose towards that front knee. Back heel down. If we need to, let the hands come to our low back. We'll slide down to the inside of that right foot. Send the hips up and back, finding our down dog right away. We're gonna inhale, heels up. Just lower them back down. Sending our left leg up. We're bringing it across our right leg to like a big side plank. Keep that foot out. Open the right arm towards the ceiling. Right hand back down, squeeze our left knee and stretch that left leg. Knee to nose, low lunge. Back knee down. Float the fingertips high. Hands to low back, find your version. Tuck the back toes, legs start to stretch and press up to press and lunge. Finding back bend here, hips forward. Release to crescent lunge. Prayer twist to the left. Twist an elbow to the knee as we press through our back heel. Now 
Bend that back heel down. Open the arms and chest. Warrior two. Straightening our left leg. Triangles. Right side brings us up, reverse triangle. Return, open to stop. Bend the knees, hands to either the legs, shifting here, or start to come back towards the floor, finding those side lunges. Keeping hips pretty low. Taking a couple more breaths. Go ahead, return back to your wide forward fold. Like that wide down dog, fingertips out in front. Be light in the fingertips, chest back towards the leg. Bring the hands back in. Arms wingspan, halfway point. Come all the way up, right knees and toes. Point out warrior two into triangle. Last time through as we lift up reverse triangle. Return wide forward fold. Pivot hands and feet to our left foot to step up forward fold. Crouch and turn that round spine, nose to knee. Sending those heels back down. Keep those knees bent. Come with your chair. Bringing our right knee with us as we stand up. Find a balance. Hands to our low back. Moving to warrior one. So right toes and heels step down behind us. And a little bit wider. Hips are forward. Feet are out. Continue to send those hips forward. Lifting the chest. Back bend, then coming forward in a humble warrior. You can add your chest expansion. Nose towards that front leg, back heel down. Hands to our low back, slide down to the inside of that left foot. Step back to our down dog right away. Hip side. Take a full round of breath. From where we are, heels up, roll forward, high plank. Slowly lower to our bellies, hug the elbows in, coming all the way down. As we touch to the floor, bringing hands down by our sides, palms up or palms face down. Legs are straight out underneath us. We're going to take a full inhale and start to lift everything off the back, holding the arms to like the chest. As we exhale, maybe just release slightly. But staying lifted, continue to breathe as you inhale. Maybe you go a little bit higher. As you exhale, you can release slightly. Continue to stay lifted. Here we are in this locust pose for six, for five. For four, four, three, last two. Slowly start to lower everything down. Bring the hands underneath our shoulders and press back up into child's pose. Lengthen out, release top of the head. Take a couple big breaths there. From where we are in our child's pose, we're going to start to ease our way back up to our tabletop. We're going to come into a thread the needle. Option to add the legs. So if you're adding the legs, our left foot will be out to the side. We'll keep the knees underneath us. So we're going to sweep our right fingertips up to the ceiling and coming all the way down to our right temple and our right shoulder. 
head is heavy. Again, if that left one is out, it's like a little kickstand. We can use our left hand to continue to kind of press and roll open. Option to bring our left hand to our low back. Or even reach those fingertips forward and front. Just a couple breaths here. Return the hand underneath us if we need to. We'll press down as we open up. We unwind back to our tabletop. And again, we'll switch out. So if we're taking it with the leg, right foot out to the side. We'll sweep our left fingertips hard. Coming down with that left ear, left shoulder. As you kind of press into the floor with the right hand, you can either come to our low back or you can reach out in front. If we need to bring our right hand back underneath us as we press up on line back to our tabletop. From our tabletop, we're just going to tuck the toes, sending the hips up and back, finding our down dog. Just enough to seat those right toes high. Bring that right shin forward into pigeon, keeping back leg straight behind us. Feel free to fold down to that front leg. You can add in a chest opener and a hip opener, finding a quad stretch here. So you can either do same arm as leg or opposite arm as leg, getting a little extra twist. And from our pigeons, gently start to ease our way back up. Sending those hips back up into down dog. Shake out the legs as we need to. And moving into the other side. So just sending our left toes up enough. Just seat that shin forward. Keeping back leg where it was, straight behind us. Again, we can melt down right away. Or we can add in a quad stretch. Opening up the shoulder, the hip. Same or opposite arm as leg. And from wherever we are, we'll ease and work our way back up to our last down dog. Hips high, shaking it out. And gently bring the feet and the hands to each other. We'll take a seat all the way down, stretching our legs in front. We're sitting up nice and tall. Here, we're just going to inhale, reach the arms high. And exhale slowly and you get our hips 
just start to fold towards the legs, any amount. Same as when we're in our belly. So as we inhale, kind of come out of that a little bit. And as we exhale, we can start to fold and release back down. Inhales, coming up and out of that stretch just a little bit. And then exhales, refold and soften. Take that a few more times, just on your own with your breath. If you haven't already, you can then just stay folding towards the legs. And wherever we are, gently walking ourselves back up to sit tall. From here, we're just going to gently plant those feet to the floor, but staying about hip width distance apart. We're actually going to slide the fingertips underneath our sit bones. We're going to soften down towards our triceps and our forearms. We're going to puff the chest towards the ceiling and the top of the head reaching towards the floor without our shoulders collapsing in and down. So really press your chest up we let the top of the head reach towards the floor without any pressure or weight on the top of the head. Pulling strong through the arms. If it feels better for you to then stretch the legs out in this posture, feel free to do so. slowly lifting our head up just enough to slide the hands out from underneath and roll down to our back slide the feet in and we're going to press up into our bridge pose this time keeping that upper back in the floor but lifting the hips hold here those hips high pressing on the insides of the feet And really slow roll back down through the spine. We can just windshield wiper side to side or draw the knees into our chest. If it feels better from here, you can take a little counter stretch, moving into either legs up the wall, just floating feet up, or bring those hands back underneath us, lifting the hips off the floor. Pulling those feet up towards the air or overhead towards a plow. Knowing feet don't have to touch, these can stay pretty bent. We're pressing into the triceps, pressing into the shoulders, and supporting our low back. If low back is off the floor, allow those knees to bend in a little bit closer. Press the hands into the mat to roll back down so our low back rests to the floor, doesn't hit or slam. Finding our knees back in. And gently just let the arms open up to a T, let both legs fall towards the left, just release fully into the ground. Bring the legs back to the center and just let them fall both to the right side. And gently bring the legs back into the center. Squeeze them in and just fully release the body down to the floor. Taking a couple big breaths here just on your own. And just let everything else around you move towards the background. And find your breath in your body. Good. 
Take a little bit longer where you are to just breathe. Knowing this is where I leave you. Thanks so much for joining me. Stay well, and we'll see you next time.